Eradon. Good day, and what a good day it is indeed. Today marks episode, I think, seven? Six. Six, that's right. Sorry, I was looking at my notebook. <laughs> episode six of this Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. And in today's episode, well, first I just want to say that I am now on the new computer, which is awesome. You can see that silky smooth frame rate, which is above, wow, I say it's above... 100 fps and it immediately drops to 88 <laughs> anyways we are at a different uh nether portal right now because i before i started this video i wanted to see how smoothly the game ran in um in that jungle and it was still pretty bad so i've decided there are a couple of other biomes that i can use for like this idea that i have of like a rainforest modern town type thing that will be a lot less laggy than a jungle so i looked on my level map and found a big old area hopefully big old area this is my first time going into this nether portal so i have no idea how big it's actually going to be let's uh, see here are we going to get come on oh -ho! What the heck was that? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, wow. That that kind of startled me, I'll be honest. Okay, so we're here. We are here in a just normal forest. It's I think it's a little bit of a... Um, freaking flower forest. I think there is a flower forest somewhere in here, but yeah. I decided, I know a regular oak forest is kind of like a classic place to build your first your first base, but I figured that it would probably be the best place to do it. Also, I can just make custom trees and get the effect that I want in here. So I am going to go ahead and find a little spot to start. Uh, and I guess I should just start by... First of all, getting rid of all this nether, nether rack, and then chopping some wood, as one does at the beginning of every single Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> right. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've gotten a stack and a bit of oak logs, and I'm looking for an area to start in, to start my business district. Um... And actually, I guess I should kind of talk about my plan here. I'm planning on doing a central business district. So let me just get, let me grab, let me yoink some dirt. Okay, so this dirt is going to represent the business district, right? Then these oak logs will represent the, um, residential district and then these planks will will represent the industrial district so right in the center we're going to have like you could even mark out a larger area we're going to have a business district with like coffee shops and little restaurants and i'm thinking that we could have apartments above those so there could be residential area on top of that um we could have apartments i could make my main like living space in this place an apartment like a recording apartment i think that'd be pretty cool a little recording studio and everything and i want this to be all built to scale so that when you're walking through it, you really feel like it's a lot more real and immersive. Because if it's built out of scale for someone who's larger than two blocks tall and one block wide, then it won't really feel that immersive. It'll feel like large and kind of cold and dead. But I think that if I can make it immersive and to scale to the player 
then I'll successfully be able to it's one too many F clicks. <laughs> then I'll successfully be able to uh, make it very like cozy when you walk through. Like I want to be able to walk through here with a high definition texture pack or resource pack and and shaders on there and make it feel like real life. That's what I that's kind of what I want. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna attempt uh, to do. Do my best to do that. But first, what we're gonna have to do is take out a large area of trees and then flatten this area out a lot. And so I figure that at least the tree, like the deforesting part would look pretty cool in the form of a third person time lapse. So as soon as I sleep in this bed, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, so turns out that that time lapse actually did not look very good. You couldn't really see me going around cutting down all the trees. So it's gonna be kind of a big jump to the next clip. You're not gonna see the work that I did, but I cleared out a bunch of area. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's get on to it. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of work has been done since that last time lapse, and oh, you're not tied under the ground. Um, I have cleared out a lot more trees and have just flattened out this area. And the last thing that I have to do for the business district is to take out this whole thing here, and I've already got my uh where is that where what what are you doing <laughs> god that is gonna be so annoying okay whatever uh yeah let's just run away from that area so they don't bother me <laughs> um i've already got my camera account signed in and I am going to do the excavation of at least part of this. Depending on how long it takes, I'm going to do part of this on camera and then the rest off camera. But I figure it would look pretty cool in the form of a third person time lapse. Of course, right when I start talking, it starts to get dark. And I don't have any wool on me. Well, this is going to, this is just going to go awesomely <laughs> uh yeah without any further ado let us hit the time lapse zone Okay, so that, wow, that has already opened up a gigantic area, but obviously there's a lot, lot, lot more to this. So if I just follow this around, um, this goes all the way around, 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 around to here. And all around here it's more like skinny and tall this stone is what is kind of making me freak out about this because i don't have instant mine oh good lord wait a minute what wait whoa 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 hold on here that's part of that uh 
Hold on. I think I'm... Where... Did I just get lost? What... What's happening here? Uh, I think I'm somewhere over here. Okay, so then that's going to be a lot. Oh, I thought I showed a creeper. That's going to be a lot more than I thought it would be. But also, it'll open up a lot more area. So I'm, I may take out only a portion of this then. And then terraform it to kind of uh, go gradually down into the ground where it's going to be cut off. Because that's a lot more land than I thought it was. Anyways, that is where I'm going to end off today's episode. If you enjoyed the episode, then make sure to leave a like. And if you really liked it, then please consider subscribing because it helps out the channel, helps out this video. And... Maybe you want to do more of these. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, my name is Sveti Nico, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.